Hello YouTube, thanks for watching the channel. On Friday, January 11th, my husband Zeno crashed into a tree and I was lucky enough to be wearing my hat cam. I was doing a screen recording on my phone and I was running recording on the Hubs and Zeno. So we have three different sources of video to analyze the crash. So with your help out there, YouTube, and the help of Hubs and support, we should be able to analyze and figure out what exactly happened in this crash. So let's jump into the video and see what happened. All right, guys, so um, Friday, January 11th, um, around 4.30 in the afternoon, and I'm trying to set up a shot to do a backwards reveal of the rocks with the seagulls on top. So I'm gonna cruise out and drop the altitude and come straight back as fast as I can to do a fast reveal. The flight control version on this, uh, at this time is 1.046. The camera is 3.2, and um, I'm running ISO 100, exposure 1200. Um, white balance is ordinary. Here we go. Straight back, full throttle, pulling the camera up a little bit, and here we go. I'm going to slow the video down to 50% right now so we can get a better view. As I'm coming back, you still see a little bit of the artifacts with this camera. Uh, definitely getting better. Thank you, Hubson, for giving me that 3.2 firmware update. I really appreciate it. Here we go. We're going to see on the low, low right hand side is the app. No one left is a Zeno, and that's my head cam on top. You'll see a disconnect from the app connection occur right there. It dropped the connection. The Zeno should have stopped, but it kept going full speed. I'm at 33% playback mode right now. Zeno's going full speed, misses the trash can, it goes into that little clearing, it finally realizes that it's lost connection, it's gonna gain altitude right about now. And of course there's trees above it, so it hits all the trees and then comes crashing down. There we go. There's the hits the trees and it's tumbling down. The video's kind of lost. The gimbal's gonna do its thing to try to lock itself and prevent it. And my child, my Zeno, is laying upside down at this point. So I'm, you know, walking over there, trying to figure out what's going on. You can see in the lower right hand quadrant um, that the app's still disconnected. It's disconnected. And it finally gets a connection halfway up there. Right there, it connects again. All right. And I am going to walk up to the Zeno and find it upside down. So I lean down to pick it up. Okay, and there's, we're getting compass errors because it's upside down. And there, I reach down. Look at that poor guy, man. He is just looks like pretty sad right like your child fell down and hurt itself well that's exactly what happened one good thing is nothing occurred except for four sets of props were had to be replaced but the Zeno still working you can see the video still running I decided not to stop the video because I wanted to get, keep as much evidence as possible to recreate the scene of the crime so to speak and I'm showing you guys what it looks like right now. Um, the Zeno is looking pretty sad. So if you guys see something there that can help me diagnose what happened, I greatly appreciate it. Especially helps and support. If you guys see something here, please let us know. Um, inspecting uh, the props, and I'm noticing how bad the props are. And I actually flew to Zeno after replacing all four props uh, one more time later on that evening, captured some great shots. And that was under the camera upgrade of 3.2 video. Come, 
it'll be posted so you guys take a look at it so if you guys like this video give us a thumbs up if you like this content please consider subscribing so there it is let us know what you guys think what you guys see what what your analysis is i'm shutting things down and i i am getting ready to fly another drone i actually flew the mavic 2 pro uh next but uh, and then after that i flew the hubs and xeno one more time so thanks again for watching guys and have a great day